Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Orvi Woe, bringing you another Call of Duty video. This time we're going to look at a couple of underused ranked weapons that might be uh, something that clicks a little bit better for you. Of course, the meta is pretty well established. The TAC-56 and the VAS never really your go-tos. If you want to just stick with them, you're never really going to stray too far off the, off the course. But if you want to try something different and not just get completely obliterated, I have a couple of guns you might want to look at here. One is the Castoff 762. And the way that we build this out is with the Saken uh, Tread 40 on the muzzle, the FSS Shark Fin 90 on the underbarrel, 7.62 high velocity for the ammo, the broadside FCT stock, and I run the Cronin Mini Pro. You can switch this out for the Slimline Pro or the Cronin Mini Dot, whichever you like the best. And then we tune this thing out um, as such. I'll let you kind of look and pause on each of these as we go here. Uh, mostly trying to get rid of the recoil. The recoil is pretty big on the 7.62. The thing is, if you can get um, headshots with this gun, it is a ripper. It will put people instantly down. Um, and it just, it feels like when you're hitting those, it's almost, your gunfights almost aren't fair. It just puts them right away. Uh, now, if you are trying to hit a bunch of shots at extended range, I still think the TAC is probably the best option for that. But this gun has surprised me in a lot of matches. And if you're good, and if you can kind of memorize the recoil pattern of this gun and get used to it, uh, it can be a beast in the right person's hands. So that's the most, I think, slept on AR in ranked at the moment. The other one, I think, may have a little more usability, viability. Uh, for me, I am really kind of hit or miss on whether I'm really frying with the Vaznev or not. The Lockman sub, I tend to always do really well with. Maybe that's probably a me problem, but... Anyways, this is the this is the loadout that I use for this gun. We use the L38 Falcon uh, barrel. We use the Bruin Pendulum muzzle, the Agent grip for the underbarrel, the Lockman TCG10 rear grip, and the FT mobile stock uh, on this gun. And it has fried for me up close. And I'm still pretty decent on my kind of mid-range shots that you have to stretch out and take sometimes. But I, I've just felt. For whatever reason for me, uh, this gun feels a little better than the Vaznev. That's obviously, I don't think, the full case where the pros would be using it. So we'll just go over the tunings really quickly here. Um, for the barrel, I'll let you kind of look and, and pause these as you want to, to to check and see what we've got. It's kind of a combination, again, of aim down sight speed and recoil steadiness, much like we did with the Vaznev. We're just trying to uh, make sure that we don't lose too much on our quickness because we need to be able to fight up close and in people's faces that's what happens as a sub so you want to lean a little more towards your sprint to fire your aim downs those kind of things but where you have the opportunity go ahead and feel free to throw in a little bit of aim idle stability or recoil steadiness that will help for sure uh, but for me this gun has really been uh, been playing well maybe that's because at the moment i'm still in the lower ranks but uh, it's, it's worked good for me. So hopefully it can gain you some SR in the ranked modes. Let me know what you think about these two slept on underappreciated guns. Uh, and let me know if you have something else that you really like in ranked. I'd really love to hear it in the comment section. Again, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all those great things. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.